Hello everybody, this is Dr. Sayed Mujahid here. I take this opportunity to uh, to speak a few words about COVID and current uh, crisis uh, and also about vaccinations. See, uh, look, last year, 2020, we had uh, uh, we had literally COVID menace happening all over the country, all over the world. A uh, lot of uh, deaths, a lot of critical cases, a lot of tragedies, literally calamity we saw, we witnessed it. And the situation was again grim last year. There was no beds available. There were no uh, uh, sufficient um, ventilators available. The ambulances were literally plying from pillar to post, and lot of lot of uh, mayhem was happening. This year looks like situation is same. We, we will come back to square one. Uh, but but my point here is my concern here is last year we were all cribbing and crying uh, that the vaccines are not available. Vaccines are not yet out. Uh, you know, hopefully vaccines should be out. Blah blah blah. Now that vaccines are out. How many of us are actually willing to take it and how many of us are, have registered for vaccination? I see a lot of patients, uh, in fact, uh, my, my, uh, those patients' parents, uh, they, they, they come to me and they, when I ask them about vaccine, they say, no, sir, we, we are not taken yet. There are a lot of rumors about it. There are a lot of um, uh, misgivings about it. I, I'm not sure. Should I take it? Should I not? I don't know what, 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 what information uh, they're procuring from where they're procuring. Okay. See, the, understand. This is just like any other vaccine. Now, I, we as pediatricians have been administering vaccines to kids for, for many, many years, right? So what, what happens when you administer a typhoid vaccine? There might be slight fever, there might be slight pain in the thigh, injected site, and so on and so forth. Measles vaccine, there might be some rashes, DPT vaccine, there might be some swelling and pain, etc. For a couple of days. In the same way, this vaccine also might produce some fever, some tiredness, some lethargy, some pain and swelling, which is self-limiting which is uh, which need not be uh, really worried about besides that there is no significant data available about any serious any uh, serious mortalities or any serious complications uh, due to the vaccine a lot of people keep asking me sir covid shield covaxin uh, unnecessary creating confusion see whatever vaccine is available in your in your domain and you know in your juris in locality wherever you stay whichever vaccine please go ahead both of these vaccines are safe equally almost equally efficacious and and uh, will give you good amount of protection see some people ask me sir somebody said uh, even if after taking vaccine people are getting infected Sh why should i vaccinate them simple point to them is you wear a helmet and you drive ride your bike you god forbid you fall you meet with an accident the chances of your survival are more than you riding the bike without wearing the helmet will you say now that sir even wearing helmet somebody died or somebody met with an accident he got hurt so why should i wear helmet it's common sense, right? You will still might get hurt. You will still might, you still might get COVID, but chances of you dying, chances of fatality is low. Your body will fight better, right? There may still be unfortunate ones who may succumb. Just like same example, despite of wearing helmet, somebody died because it, the accident was massive or whatever. The infection was big. The, the viral load was huge. The immunity still couldn't support, the vaccine couldn't support. That is secondary. But why do we have to speculate so much about uh, unnecessary things when the vaccine is out now? Currently, 45 plus, they're vaccinating. Kindly take your parents, take your uncles, take your relatives. You yourself, if you're in the category, please go and vaccinate yourself. And one more message uh, to my brothers and sisters, my friends out there who are diagnosed with COVID, who have mild symptoms, uh, no major breathlessness or no distress kindly stay at home you can take online consultation with your doctor take home therapy wait because there are no beds there don't occupy bed unnecessarily because that might deprive somebody who's in need of the bed all right so number two number three do not forward unnecessary baseless unverified messages about vaccines and untoward or, or side effects or whatever it is and even about covid if you don't have uh, verified data kindly don't forward it to your friends or colleagues or relatives don't spread rumors talk to an expert take opinion and most of all stay safe and be aware and stay healthy and any symptoms any unusual isolate yourself and notify the local doctor thank you